Hey everybody, hope all is well. So I just wanted to give a quick update. This video is not going to be very long. Um, it's just an update on the video that I posted out earlier today talking about how uh, Justin Trudeau could potentially lose the election and then still uh, get a fourth term as Prime Minister. So I do have a family member that I actually uh, reached out to last night and I asked him about this. And he's a, a member of the Conservative Party, so I'm not going to give out any like his, his name or personal information, but he is definitely a member of the party. So I just wanted to you know, clarify this and just share with you what he told me. So I sent him the article and I said, you know, is it true that he could lose and still be the Prime Minister? He said, yes, but it's highly unlikely. All the polls indicate Conservatives will win a majority, which would make it impossible for Trudeau to remain PM. However, if Conservatives won the most seats but fell short of a majority, the Liberals could work with the NDP and Bloc to stay in power as those parties are unlikely to supply confidence to a Conservative government. Again, though, it is highly unlikely given Pierre Polyev's popularity and the fact the government have an, uh, that every government has an expiry date. People get tired of, them and, tired of them and throw them out. Trudeau has long passed his expiry date. So I said, thank you. I was told that it wouldn't matter because it would take time for those new MPs to be sworn in. So even if the election, even after the election, the coalition would still have the power to block the conservatives. Is that true? This is something that someone, uh, something I heard from someone else as well. Um, so that I just wanted to make sure that I got that clear. He said, no, all MPs get sworn in before the House sits. After an election, the governor general asked the last party in power to attempt to form a government. In a scenario where conservatives win a majority, Trudeau could try to hold on to power and go into the parliament as PM and try to win the confidence of the House, but the conservative majority would vote him out immediately. So when a PM loses to a majority, they always announce their intention to resign on election night because there is no possible path to holding on to power. That's what happened in 2015 when Trudeau won a majority. Harper conceded on election night. So apparently this isn't something that is is very likely to happen unless Pierre Polyev does not win a majority. Now, every indication on every poll that we're seeing indicates that Pierre Polyev is at least going to win 200 seats. You need 174 majority. I think Nick Nanos's poll has has the Conservatives at 200, which is the the lowest seat total you'll find in any poll right now. So, even though it is very uh, likely that if Trudeau could stay in power, he would, but he's not going to be able to be, unless somehow, some way, the Conservatives do not get a majority. So I just wanted to, to give you an update on that video, guys. That it, I know it's some important information. I didn't mean to uh, freak any of you out uh, today when you guys saw that. So uh, that's going to be it, guys. I know it's a short video, but I will be back shortly tomorrow. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe again because it does help this channel out a lot. And I hope you have a great day.